Hello! Today we are going to learn about the Angle by Sector Proportionality Theorem. This is a part of your lessons under Triangle Similarity and will cover Student Learning Guide 7.4.1 and 7.4.2. So let's recall what an angle by sector is. In the first quarter, we learned that an angle by sector is a ray, line, or segment that divides an angle into two congruent angles. In our example here, triangle ABC, angle B is bisected by segment BD, so the resulting angles ABD and CBD are congruent. Now let us investigate the effect of drawing an angle bisector in a triangle to the side opposite the angle it bisects. For simplicity, let us name the sides of the angle A and B and the segments of the opposite side M and N. Let's use our GeoGebra app to help us compute the ratios A to B and M to N. We will move the vertices of the third side and examine the ratios. So what have we observed? The ratios are actually equal. This illustrates the angle bisector proportionality theorem. It states that an angle bisector in a triangle separates the opposite side into segments that have the same ratio as the other two sides. Let us now apply the angle bisector proportionality theorem to solve problem number 2 on your SLG 7.4.2. In this particular problem, we are asked to find the perimeter of the given triangle with sides 7x, 10x minus 8, and with another side which is divided into segments 5x and 6x by the angle bisector. By applying the angle bisector proportionality theorem, we can form the proportion 7x over 10x minus 8 equals 5x over 6x. Solving this algebraically, we get 7x times 6x is 42x squared, and 10x minus 8 times 5x is equal to 50x squared minus 40x. Simplifying this further, we will get 8x squared minus 40x equals 0. We can factor out 8x and we will get x minus 5 as the other factor. By applying the zero quotient property or the zero product property, we can equate 8x to zero and that will give us x equals zero. Now this is an extraneous solution because we know that if we plug in zero into 7x, this will give us a side which will measure zero and that shouldn't be possible. So we get the other factor x minus 5 and equate it to zero and we will get x equals 5. So, if x is equal to 5, we can plug it in now, so we will have 7x is equal to 7 times 5 equals 35, 5x is equal to 5 times 5, which is 25, 6x is equal to 6 times 5, which is 30, and lastly, 10x minus 8 is equal to 10 times 5, which is 50, minus 8, which will now be 42. To find the perimeter of the triangle, we will have to add all the sides, so we will have 35 plus 25 plus 30 plus 42, and that is now equal to 132 units. So the perimeter of this triangle is 132 units. Let us also solve problem number 4 from SLG 7.4.2. The problem reads, the triangle has sides measuring 12 cm, 18 cm, and 20 cm. Its largest angle is bisected such that segments are formed when the angle bisector intersects the side opposite the largest angle. Find the lengths of these segments. Since there was no figure given, we can draw the figure to represent the triangle. So we have here triangle EFG with sides measuring 12, 18, and 20 cm. We don't know which one is the largest angle, but we can give we can get a hint from um, the angle opposite the longest side, which measures 20 centimeters. So in this particular triangle, the largest angle, which will be bisected, is angle GEF. Drawing the angle bisector EH, which now will um, intersect the side FG, this will now be divided into segments X and 20 minus X, since the sum of the measures is 20. By applying the angle bisector proportionality theorem, we can form the proportion 12 over 18 is equal to x over 20 minus x. 
Simplifying this algebraically, we will get 12 times 20 is 240 and 12 times negative x is negative 12x. And of course, on the other side, we will have 18 times x and that is 18x. Simplifying this further, we get 240 equals 12x plus 18x and that will be 30x. Dividing both sides by 30, we get 240 over 30 is 8. And of course, 30x over 30 is equal to x. Therefore, x is equal to 8. Finding the length of the other segment, which measures 20 minus x, it will now be 20 minus 8, and that is 12. I am again ending this video with my words of gratitude to the developers of the GeoGebra app and the writer of SLG 7.4.1 and 7.4.2, Mr. Jose Ariel Serrato of PSHSWVC.